Welcome to this amazing course. So inside this course, we will teach you how you guys can create your own custom API endpoint. Okay, using WordPress. So we will basically teach you how you can build your own API with the power of WordPress. And you do not have to do any coding because inside this course, we will going to use the power of ChatGPT that will going to help us to create the code that will going to help us to build API. Okay, with the endpoints inside the WordPress. And what is the benefit of that? Each and everything has been covered. So even if you don't have any knowledge, so you can just get start with this course. Okay, every procedure, all the resources has been given to you inside this course. And we will going to guide you step by step the complete concept of the uh, concept and also the benefit of building your own API. Okay, which you can even sell it to make money as well, passive income as well. So this is a very powerful and a very unique uh, unique course which I'm giving you for absolutely free. Okay, so if you are interested, so make sure you just watch it from starting to end. So after completing the course, free course, you will be able to build your own custom API. Okay, and you can integrate with your AI tools. You can just use it to sell it, to make money as well, or for automations or for many other procedures. We will going to talk about that as well inside this course. Okay, so make sure that you guys just go ahead and watch this complete free course it will really going to help you help you out and if you don't know about let's say what we are doing here and even if you are not understanding what is this application and all so we will going to guide you with each and everything about installing all the necessary applications which are absolutely free and we are also using the free version of chat gpt so just be rest assured okay everything will be covered in this free course just make sure you watch this free course from starting to end it will really going to help you out bye bye so now uh, guys before we proceed further so the very first thing which we require is the access to chat gpt okay so if you don't have chat gpt you can simply just search for chat gpt click on enter and just go to this chat gpt.com okay then you will come to this website from here you just have to click on this sign up button just sign up is totally free and we will going to use the free version of chat gpt now just click on this continue with google microsoft or apple whatever you want or even you can just go with the simple email address okay and after you do all these things okay then you will be able to create the account in chat gpt and this is how your chat gpt will going to look like it's like a ai chatbot you can just chat okay hi how are you question mark you just send the prompt the question to the ai tool and in return it will just going to give you the response okay so this is the ai chatbot that we will going to use you can just create new chat and this is where we will going to use chat gpt okay now guys uh, it's also very much important that you access the resources so i will just going to provide all these resources to you for free so you can just go to this website that is Cuckoo Courses. Just go to this website, search for it. You will going to see this website cuckoocourses.com. Just go to this website, okay? And after you will just come to this website, okay? You can just scroll down at the very bottom, okay? Uh, or you can just do one thing, just go to the top and click on this library, okay? and after you will just going to click on this library my friends of course if you want to access the 30 plus free courses okay worth dollar 99 for absolutely free you can just sign up to this form by the way okay but uh, let's leave it now after you will click on this library you will just scroll at the very bottom and here you will see this access our free resources library click on this and then my friends from here you guys will going to see this one that is wordpress custom ai endpoints okay so in case if you don't find it here you can just press if you're window user just press ctrl and f if you're a mac user you can just press command and f okay and basically you can search for this code that is s930sj ctrl and f and just search for s930 sj okay so you will see this type of uh, this section wordpress custom endpoints so maybe in future 
there can be a lot of material okay right now it's very easy to find but in case if it face any problem or you uh, or the list will be very big so you can just press the command and f and search for it okay for mac and for windows is control and f okay so you basically have to open this code so click on this view okay and then you will come uh, here and from here you will be able to access all the codes and materials which we will going to provide you for this project okay so make sure you just come and access to these resources it's absolutely free for you to access it okay now guys uh, as you have access this it's very much important to have python okay for this particular project we will require the python and visual studio code so it's free to install you can just click on this step by step guide here the link and it will just going to open a new session and from here you just have to watch this video download python one okay and step two which is python integration with visual studio code so just watch these two videos okay do not watch uh, do not watch this pycharm one you just only have to watch these three videos one two and three these three videos will going to guide you how to download the python and how to integrate the python with visual studio code okay so make sure that you watch this because it's very much important because for this purpose we will going to use the visual studio code okay uh, so wait let me just open the visual studio code so after you will download the visual studio code this is how your visual studio code will going to look like okay like this okay uh, okay so nothing complicated over here okay so this is uh, how your visual studio code will look after you will basically going to uh, download it okay and uh, this is what i just wanted to teach you here okay so make sure just download this three or watch these three videos and download python and integrate that with visual studio code so uh, now guys after uh, you will going to install the visual studio code and integrate that with the python okay so this is how your visual studio can look like okay so we have to install you know one client so just click on this option here okay uh, this box okay and from here you just have to search for thunder okay client okay and you will see this type of icon just open this okay and you just need to install this one to test your rest api client for the visual studio so just click on this install and you can see that this thunder uh, thunder client has been installed and when you will tap on this thunder client so this is how the uh, thunder client will going to look like okay so you can just uh, see the collection and environment and all these things just click on this new request and this is how it will going to look you can just close these first two tabs okay so uh, basically this is related to api now in case if you don't know anything so what i suggest you guys okay is to have some basic guide about api rest api and all so i will going to provide you my to free course in case if you are totally you know from non-tech background and let's say you want to use and learn about api okay so in case if you want to learn what is an api okay so for that i have one free course for you so what you can do is that you can just go and search for cuckoocourses.com basically go to my website again okay and scroll at very bottom and here just search for free courses click on this option and just search for here api click on enter and let's wait and here you will going to see this one api guide for absolute beginners okay so even if your doctor let's say who uh, doesn't have any knowledge related to technology so we have created this free two hours course only for you okay so that even if you are from non-tech background you can watch this course so just open this right click and open this course 
so this course is for the absolute beginners okay so to us course you do not require any kind of a sign up or any payment detail just simply come to this free course and click on start learning button and watch this course for absolutely free okay just click on this play button you can see learn basics of api step by step for beginners hey guys welcome to this and you will going to see we are showing the same presentation which we have you know uh, over here okay here so the same thing we will going to teach you in, in inside this lecture so this is about the basics of api now you will uh, after you will going to watch basically this api course so you will also going to learn about concept of client and uh, okay client okay so generally majority of people use postman and python so right now we are using python as our client now if you are also interested so you can also watch my second course that is related to postman okay and you will going to get idea about what is post get delete put so basically in the python you will going to see here we have the option of a post get delete so what are all these options okay so you will basically going to understand about this okay in another course which is this one just come here close the ad and you will going to see the second course we have here is related to uh, related to postman you can see here postman crash for course for beginners so just open this course also okay now this is basically the continuation of this course so this is the complete absolute beginner so after you will going to watch this course make sure you watch uh, start to watch this course so this is basically the continuation of this course okay so just click on the start learning button and this is a course you have to watch just click on play button guys welcome and this is related to postman okay you can see the same presentation okay so from here this lecture will start so basically what i mean to say if you are interested to learn you know almost 60 percent which is sufficient for this uh, particular project okay so you need to have the knowledge of what api is what is the concept of client okay servers what are all these things everything has been taught to you from scratch api url api key token client server so basically you can use postman so postman is another application so you can just open the postman and you will going to see the same thing like post get all this option but no, right now we are not using postman currently we are using python as a client okay so this is the reason we install this thunder client so this will going to act as a client for our api request okay so make sure if you don't have any knowledge about all these things so it's important that uh, you watch these two free course totally for free okay i'm not telling you to purchase or anything like that it's totally free just watch these two hours course about api and after that watch the course that is related to postman okay then you will going to understand each and everything very easily okay but make sure that you install in your python so whatever python you have installed right now okay so in python just install this extension which we will going to use okay basically going to install okay each and everything okay the python and all those things okay and i suppose if you want to watch this free two courses okay which we have told you just watch it then it's very much important to install the wordpress so in case if you don't have wordpress so we will teach you how to set up WordPress by teaching you about domain setup, web hosting setup, and also how you can install the WordPress to your domain, uh, to your domain and hosting. Okay, so the complete setup we will now going to teach you. So if you already have the web, uh, WordPress website, you can skip it. But if you don't have, so make sure watch uh, watch about the domain setup, web hosting, and WordPress installation inside your web hosting okay hey guys so let's start this course so first of all I will going to teach you what is the domain name so we will also going to set up the domain name as well okay using name gym now what is this and all we will going to explain you and also teach you how to set up 
but let's first discuss what is domain name so guys domain name is basically the address of your website so for example like any place has some address right like for example i want to let's say visit to your house so your house will also going to have address right so for example if i just go here and let's say this is your house right and to visit your house i need one address awesome right i need one address of your house so when i will going to have address of your house so i can just come straight to your house using your address so similarly to uh, visit any website you require domain name like if i want to visit to your home i need your home address right so similarly to visit any website you need domain address now for example if i vis want to visit kuku courses website so i will just type kuku courses.com and i when i will going to open it i will go to the kuku courses website awesome simple and easy similarly let's say if i want to visit apple's website so i will going to type apple.com click on enter button and you will go to the apple's uh, website simple and easy right so you can see to access any website you require domain name like apple.com is domain name kukukoses.com is domain name right so similarly every website has domain name so to visit any website you require the domain address you have to purchase one domain address right and there are many companies who will going to help you to purchase domain name in our case we will going to use namechimp because it's very simple and easy to uh, simple and easy by the way and it's very affordable too right so uh, hope you guys have somehow understood the concept of domain name so make sure that whenever you get your domain name it should be related to let's say you can just keep the domain name of your personal name or try to keep domain name short and simple okay short and simple and make sure that that domain name which you are purchasing it should be related to the product or service uh, you are purchasing for example uh, in my case i am purchasing one domain name that is related to courses i will going to create one courses website so i will going to purchase kukukourses.in or any such thing related related to this so my website is related to courses so i have uh, you know uh, uh, chosen domain that has some courses related thing or maybe let's say you have some health related business so let's say you can choose uh, health um, king maybe healthking.com okay healthking.com maybe or healthkim.io so there there are many things but make sure you can create or buy domain name on your name maybe your name is let's say john cena so you can just buy domain name that is related to your name or some people buy the domain name according to their business but make sure that domain name should be short and simple right so hope you guys have understood the concept of domain name now guys i will going to teach you how you can set up the name gym uh, account or i or in a simple way how you can buy domain name with name gym okay so it's very simple and easy you just need to open new tab on your browser and just write this my dash link dot in slash name chip okay so make sure you just write this everything in small i will also going to attach the link below okay in this video description and resources so you can just simply click on that link okay you will directly come to the website okay so you just have to type this everything in small and click on the enter button and you will go to the name gym's uh, website according to your country okay so just wait for the few seconds and you will be redirected to the name gym's website you can see that 
we are now in the name gyms website so basically as i have told you that whenever you create a domain name okay so try to make it short okay don't uh, buy domain name which is very much complex like this which no one will going to remember right it's very weird right so make sure you do not buy this type of domain and the second thing is that make it short and simple okay make it meaningful or you can also buy on your name as well for example my name is kunal onare so i can buy one domain name on my uh name okay or you can also purchase it for your business so maybe whatever product and services you are uh you know um whatever product and services you are selling so according to that you can uh go and take domain name for example if uh your business is let's say related to health so i can say a uh, health related domain let's say health king click on the search button and let's see if we can uh, get some domain uh, related or not okay so here you can see that uh, we are we are getting lots of thing like healthking.app healthking. Uh, uh, dev healthking.io health okay there there are lots of uh, domain name related to this right uh, so in my case i will go with kuku courses okay dot let's say in okay uh, see kuku courses dot com is taken okay so i cannot do anything with that because you can see this is the website uh, of kuku courses dot com it's already taken and you can see a complete live website here so i will going to go with kuku courses dot in and click on enter and let's see if we can get the kuku courses dot in domain name okay so you can see it's available so similarly you have to search for domains which are available and the available domain you can buy okay so you can see lot many domains and in front of that domain name you will always going to see some price right so according to uh domain name which you can afford according to your financial condition you can take the domain name right so uh, that's it make sure you just uh, select and add to cart when you will select your domain name i will simply click on add to cart button and then you will see uh, the option called as checkout here right so just click on the checkout button and you can also select for how many uh, years you want to purchase by the way you can select the currency right now it's in us dollars but in my case i will just purchase it for let's say three years awesome so more longer period you will going to purchase your domain name for so less uh, affordable it will be okay um, so for example if i just per take with one year so you can see it will approx dollar eight right so if you will double it so it will be you can see uh 15.96 uh, still it will be little bit uh you know uh affordable if you see if you will renew it one year that is dollar 7.98 okay so if i just show you the concept if you just go to calculator so right now we we are purchasing it for uh you know dollar 7.98 so seven oops sorry 7.98 and if you will just per purchase it for one year so it will cost you this much and if you just uh, purchase for next year so again you have to pay this much amount uh, or let's say even high let's say eight dollars so it will cost you approx 15 uh, 9 8 itself right uh, but here it will also going to include tax as well you also have to pay tax as well but if you just go with the two years it will be 15.96 so you can see it will be affordable okay as compared to the one one year you pay so make sure the more longer you will choose the better it will be okay so i will go ahead with 15 uh, for three years this much is the amount i will just go ahead and i will confirm the order and if you have some uh, other currency to choose for example i want to see it in indian currency 
so it will be approx this much awesome right so let me just see how much it will going to cost me for the four years okay so in the four years this will be this much but let's uh, just go ahead with uh three years uh, only okay so i will simply go ahead and confirm order but it's your case if you want to go with one year two year three years it's totally up to you awesome right then just click on the confirm order button awesome now uh, if you already have your account so you can just log in but if you are totally new so you can just uh, put all your uh, details okay like username password just confirm password set your first name last name put your correct email id which is very much important and make sure you just choose or set your username okay uh, and then uh, click on create account and continue button okay guys you can see that i have set the username i have set the password i have uh, again set my password i've set my first name last name and i put my email address you can just if you want and just click on create account and continue button right so after you will going to do this you can just simply save it if you want to right and then just set your all the details uh, like your first name last name your address cities uh, state and all these details okay here phone number so fax number is not necessary okay but just put all these details here okay so you can see i have set the first name last name and make sure you untick it if you want to okay uh, which is this option you can just untick it and rest just put all your details like phone number email and all and after you will do this just click on this continue and then it will take you here okay so make sure you can just select this as well then just click on this continue button so then my friends you will see the payment method you can just choose if you want to pay with the card payment so you can see i put all the card details my card number card everything right you can put uh, the card details you can even choose paypal and account funds as well uh, but after you just do it just click on this continue button after you will put all your payment details and then click on continue button okay just after you do this just click on this pay now button and make payment okay so you can see that you have successfully purchased uh, your domain name okay and on your email you will see the notification that you have purchased it successfully okay so whatever email you have used on that email uh, you will see this notification that you have purchased successfully and now you can manage your domain from here or uh, if you uh, want to see this option again so again just go to that link my dash link dot in slash name gym and after you will come here on this website so uh, it will be uh, a lady account created or you can just log in but in our case we have just now purchased so you can see the account and from here you will see this domain list option so just click on that so whatever domain uh, name you have purchased so that will be visible here you can see in my case i've purchased this in front of you guys so this is available here now uh if you want to manage it so you can just simply click on this manage button to manage it maybe if you want to connect it okay so connect with your web hosting now what is that and all thing we will going to discuss later but you can just simply click on this manage button from here and from this option of a name servers you can just click on custom and paste the name servers of your web hosting from here but let's not discuss that but i have taught you till now how you can purchase and set up your domain name okay and whatever domain name you will going to purchase it will all going to pop up here okay guys now we will going to talk about what is web hosting in a very simple way okay so it's a very simple uh, meaning so basically web hostings are the storage space for your website or storage space of your website okay for example whatever website you say for example if you just see cuckoocourses.com so they have lots of text they have some images you can see this is the image 
so all these text images and everything is stored inside storage okay and the storage is provided by web hosting so there are many web hosting companies like hostinger and there are plenty more companies that provide you web hosting where you can store all the data of your website okay so we will going to teach you how you can set up uh, it but let's first understand the web hosting concept so i have already explained you similarly if you just go to apples.com website so you will see they will going to use lot many images on their website and all so all these things my friend are stored inside web hosting basically the storage where apple is storing all this uh, data right so idea is somehow that simple and easy my friends so hope you guys have understood the concept of what is web hosting so web hosting means it's simply a uh, storage space for your website okay and now we will going to teach you how you can set up that with hostinger okay so let's see how you can set up web hosting my friends okay so we will going to use hostinger so you can just simply open one new tab and here you can just type hostinger h-o-s-t-i-n-g-r hostinger.com slash bing commerce okay so i have displayed the link in the uh you know screen you can type that everything in a small and make sure everything is small click click on enter button and i have also provided the link below in the video description or in the video resources so after you will click that so according to your country hostinger will take you to your uh, country specific website okay so for example i am in a website uh, for for example i am in india so you can see it has taken me to the india's website or if you use the same link that is uh, hostinger.com slash bing commerce or let's say you open this uh, link from usa so it will take you to the usa website so that's why make sure just use this url it will take you exactly to your country's website and also from here you can see from here you can even select two different countries in united states as well okay uh, so if you will choose united states so it will show you in the terms of dollars as well right so here you can see uh, it will show you in the terms of dollars but let i am from india so i will going to choose uh, you know uh, india english version and uh, do not worry the procedures will be same for uh, for all the countries okay so from uh, here my friends uh, you can just go ahead and choose let's say hosting you can choose let's say web hosting right so currently they are offering some uh, discounts and all we do not want that so from here you can just choose the plan so you can see more expensive plan you will going to take more features you will going to get so for example single plan only offers you to build one website and similarly premium plan offers you to build 100 website and similarly this will keep on to go and you can see uh, own uh, you know uh, single you will not going to get free domain but in multiple plans you will going to get free domain so whatever you can see the complete list of different different features you can just toggle here to learn what that uh, means is but right now we do not have to go uh, with that with this particular course by the way let's make it very simple and easy right so in our case we will going to use this single plan if you want to go with the uh, bigger plan you can of course choose it totally up to you and i recommend you guys to just go ahead but many people are very much new okay so let's go ahead with the single plan so let's click on this add to cart button and after you do this my friends you guys uh, have to choose for how many duration you want so you can see the longer duration you will going to save more longer duration you will going to choose so more amount you can save 
so i will just go ahead with the 12 months but i recommend you guys to go with at least 24 or 48 months okay um so that's it so i will choose 12 months and now it will tell me to log in so if you already have account so you can log in so in my case i will going to create my account here so i will just going to write my email address here awesome right so this is my email address you also have to put your email address correctly and then my friends you guys have to choose your password okay so in my case i will going to choose the password so awesome i have chosen the password and after you do this you you can see according to your country you will going to get multiple options but the main thing is that in the have a coupon code you can use the coupon code so you will going to get some extra discount so you can see if you will type this that is bing commerce okay just check the spelling okay bing commerce click on the apply button so you will notice you will going to get extra discount here uh, so you can see just put all your details like first name last name and every of the details and then you guys are good to go okay so you can see my friends i have chosen this uh, my first name last name and rest it's not compulsory you can see optional so phone number is not necessary to put city is not necessary to put uh, okay all these details are not necessary to put and after you do this just select your payment option according to your country so i will go with upi in my case okay and just click on submit secure payment okay and you can see that after you will make payment this is how the look will going to look like okay and you can just click on escape i don't want the personalized experience and here you can see if you already have a website you can select this option if you want to create new website but now let's click on skip create an empty website and if you uh, have a domain okay if you have a free domain so you will see the option claim a free domain option so just select that and select your domain but let's say we already have one uh, domain name so in my case i will just go to my website where i have purchased the domain name so in my case i have purchased it from name gym so i will just go to the domain list and here i have just purchased this particular domain name that is kukukosis.in so i will simply use this domain name okay so i will just click on manage button from here okay so this is my domain name so i will just simply copy this just for an example and i will say use an existing domain so i will select that i will right click and paste my domain name which i which i have purchased it from some other website in my case i have purchased it from name gym you can you may even have purchased from godaddy so idea is somehow that simple so whatever domain name you have purchased from let's say on name gym on godaddy and if you want to connect with your web hosting company in our case that is hostinger so simply just go to the name gym or a godaddy and paste the domain name uh, you have purchased and click on the continue button right awesome now my friends uh, what you need to do is very simple see if you will just see here we have basically domain name and web hosting so now web hosting is giving you two name servers name server one and name server two which you can see here you can see required name server one name server two simple and easy right so what we need to do is that we need to paste this name server to the domain name so that we can connect our domain name with web hosting okay so it's very simple so now just go to your uh, domain provider in our case that is name gym okay so here we have our domain so here you will see this name server option from here select to custom dns so here you have to paste your name server one and two okay so now again just go to your web hosting and from here just select this name server right click and copy this just go to your uh, name server provider right click and paste it 
so we have pasted one name server similarly just go here select this second name server right click and copy it make sure you don't leave any space in front and uh, last okay just go here right click and paste it awesome and then you will see this option tick mark button of a save here you can see so just click on that option so the settings will be safe and then you will basically going to connect your domain name with your web hosting so idea is somehow that's simple okay so it may take few seconds uh, to connect uh, your domain name with the web hosting but you guys do not have to worry you can see now dns servers update may take 48 hours maximum okay so maximum to connect your domain name and web hosting it may take 48 hours so do not worry that's uh, natural and okay and after you will do this uh, you just need to click on the continue button okay and then from here you can just choose your server location so i will going to suggest you guys to select that location which you feel is very much close to your audience so maybe you are you your majority of customers are let's say from let's say uh, united states so you can choose north america so whatever location is close to uh, your audience in my case i am from india and my audience is also from india so i will select to usa india then uh, let's cancel it by the way okay so i will just click on this finish setup button and then you it will take few seconds you can see uh, it will take a uh, few seconds so just wait for it to complete 100 percent okay now you will see my friends that after it will be 100 percent done you just have to click on this manage site option okay and after you will going to click on this manage site option uh, this is how the interface will going to look like okay like this you can see so if you again want to visit to this edge panel so or i can say hostinger panel so you just have to type this that is edge panel panel dot hostinger dot com okay just type this everything in small click on enter button and again you guys will going to redirect it to the same uh, area of your hostinger panel okay and you can see we have sent a verification email so you can just open your mailbox in my case you can see this is the payment successful okay for the web hosting and here you will see one option to verify your email address so i will simply click on this verify email option okay and click on that button and then you can be able to verify your uh, account let's cancel it and you can see you have verified your account and make sure you have to type hpanel.hostinger.com to visit your web hosting panel okay and you can see we have successfully uh, set up our web hosting and now we can easily create the website okay so that's it and this is how uh, we have told you what is the concept of web hosting and how you can set up web hosting okay we will going to teach you the concept of wordpress now what is wordpress so my friends wordpress is cms that means cms full form is content management system so my friends it's very simple so we're using wordpress using wordpress in short we say wp okay uh, so wordpress short form is wp so using wordpress my friends you can just build let's say website you can build some apps okay and there are many things which you guys can do with wordpress so it's just a, a amazing thing okay you, you can just customize each and everything without doing any coding right so for example if you just go to our website again that is uh cuckoo courses let me just open this website cuckoo courses click on enter button just go to the home page of our website awesome and from here my friends you will see this tab 
courses one right so just go ahead in this courses tab and here you will see or you can just search wordpress click on enter button <clears throat> okay le let me just search for wordpress okay so here or if you will not going to see let me just refresh it again so because of some uh, problem i guess okay let's let me just search for wordpress again now uh, awesome so here you can see my friends using wordpress you can just do a lot of things you can see um you can just set a website you can build your own chat gpt with wordpress okay you can build uh, or do web designing with wordpress you can create job search portal website with wordpress you can start your money making blogging website with chat gpt and wordpress you can start or create a fitness related website like gaming fitness and yoga type of website with wordpress you can create pharma e-commerce website right so you can see with wordpress you can basically do a lot of things okay and next you can see like you can just uh, uh basically uh you can uh create your own affiliate system with wordpress you can start your agency website with wordpress you can make facebook like website with wordpress as well right you can create branding and blogging website with wordpress you can create affiliate website with wordpress you can create drop shipping website with wordpress right so you can see the power of wordpress okay so the list is limitless there are lots of things like you can build your e-commerce website with wordpress like amazon flipkart etc etc you can create your online course website with wordpress right so my friends the thing is that you can just do a lot of things with wordpress now how you can get wordpress see wordpress uh, you need to install inside web hosting and you have already purchased the web hosting right so we will going to teach you just with one click okay in a single click you can just install wordpress inside your web hosting and then you can just do plenty of things uh, you want okay so that is the wordpress right so in theory it's just a basic thing but when we will going to show you practical okay like for example we have set up the web hosting so how we will going to install the wordpress inside this web hosting we will going to teach you that as well now before uh, i just want to tell you you can see we in in our uh, you know website we have lot many courses okay so what you can do if you want to access all these courses so we provide these courses in the form of membership you can just click on this sign up button you can set your username email first name last name and set password you can choose a lifetime in lifetime we always uh, in majority of case we use this discount code let me see okay so you can use this discount code to uh, get access to the membership and using our membership my friends after you will take our membership so you can basically access all the courses you can see latest technology courses like ai artificial build and sell apis right mid journey masterclass google bart masterclass you can just set up your own email marketing system so we have lot many courses with apple google courses paid advertising courses digital marketing courses affiliate marketing courses make money courses development courses the list is limitless right so just sign up just set up your account you can also put the discount code select i'm not a robot register and make payment so uh, this is how it will go but maybe you face some problem maybe uh, you are unable to pay because some countries uh, do not allow paypal we use paypal payment gateway so countries like india pakistan doesn't have paypal so in that case you can pay us manually as well okay so uh, if you're watching from any country and if you want to purchase our membership and if you uh, think that uh, you are unable to pay here so you can just pay us manually you can just click on this support button awesome and from here you guys will see option unable to make payment click on this click here button and then you will see the option to pay the manually okay so you can see if you, especially if you're from india so you can pay with the method too you can just buy yearly plan or let's say lifetime plan yearly plan in indian currency will be this much okay 
uh, you can just put and make payment okay and similarly we have lifetime plan here also you can use this 50 discount code to get uh, offer half the price okay and similarly with the method one as well it's basically for all countries so you can also go with the yearly plan or let's say lifetime plan so you can see yearly plan will be let's say 20 dollar uh, per year uh, per year right and the lifetime plan will be of course uh, you know uh, this much of uh, dollars you can just use 50 discount and you can make payment you can see okay so that is what i want to tell you but in basics you have understood the wordpress and if you want to know how you can create different types of websites so you can of course go to our website and check the course also we will going to attach the link uh, of all the courses below lesson and in the bonus lesson you will see all the courses links are attached that's uh, all about the okay if you want to set up wordpress inside your web hosting so my friends uh, as i have told you okay if you are watching so you all know that we have just configure the domain name and uh, web hosting together right and now here you can just go to edge panel i have taught you how you can just go to edgepanel.hostinga.com just go to websites okay and here you will see the option to manage so in the same way you have to come here and inside here inside here you can just manage each and everything so if you will click here so this is how the interface of uh, your domain name should look like that means we have successfully connected our hosting that is hostinger and our domain name from the name gym together successfully right so sometimes it may take max to max 24 hours to uh, show you this or such type of interface right so it's my recommendation when you connect your web hosting and domain so at least wait for 24 hours before you install the wordpress okay um, then after you do this so now uh, to install wordpress you just have to go to uh this option of website and then you will see this option called as auto installer okay so just click on this option awesome and you can see here in just one click you can install the wordpress so just select this wordpress option click on the select button awesome now uh, you can just set your website name let's say i will just name it as a cuckoo courses awesome and username i will set i will uh, recommend you guys to only use the same username and same email and the password you can just set whatever password you want okay um so you can use let's say cuckoo courses password generator okay you can just search for this cuckoo courses password generator and you can just click on this link <coughs> awesome let's wait and you can just click on this link secure password generator so it will basically going to generate a strong password for you okay so you just have to write how much the length of the password you want let's let me just say eight uppercase and all okay uh, if you want to include numbers in your password so you can otherwise just click on the generate password it will generate a password for you you can just save this password in your case whatever password you will going to get you can just save this password okay. uh, like this basically uh, so it's saying you have to include one number and one symbol as well okay so no problem um, so what we can uh, do here okay we have just okay let me just go with the 12 numbers okay just generate the password um here okay awesome now let me just go ahead okay so everything is okay now so you can just set your password okay or if you want to keep your password uh you want okay so you can also do that now let's click on the next button in advance you basically don't have to do anything okay so uh, here okay let's leave right now you don't need to do anything just click on this next button 
you can just save your password if you want right and after you guys do this you just have to click on the install button by the way from here you don't have to do anything from here you can select the language of your wordpress but in our case it will be english then just click on the install button and you will going to notice the uh, you know wordpress will successfully be able to install inside our web hosting as we have told you right so just wait for the few seconds and you guys are good to go okay awesome so you can see that we have successfully installed the wordpress and if you will click on this admin panel just click on this admin panel so it will take you guys to the you know wordpress um, dashboard of yours okay so just wait for a few seconds and here you can see that we are inside the wordpress now using this wordpress you can just create or do whatever you want to do okay and there are few things which i want you guys okay before you just go ahead uh, and do anything first of all just go to uh, plugins or sorry settings and from here just go to general and from here always remember that you should tick mark this anyone can register and select your time zone if you want in my case in india i live in india so my time zone will be this much if you don't know anything you can just leave it but make sure that it should be tick mark that is that is anyone can register okay that is very much important then just click on save changes button and second is the permalinks just click on this option of a permalinks and from my friends you always have to make sure that whatever option in your case it may be in this option or in my case this is in this option but make sure you always select to post name that is very much important okay and after you will do this just scroll down and click on the save changes button so this uh, option the two options which i have told you that is just to go to general and make sure just tick mark this anyone can register and save it and second the most important setting is the post name okay in permanence you have to select the post name and then click on save changes rest everything is good to go and now let's clean our wordpress website so you can just go to plugins click on installed plugins by the way and right now you can see only one plugin is here you can of course tick mark it and from the bulk action you can just deactivate it we do not want it click on apply and let's delete it again select this and click on delete option apply it and delete it awesome now just go to your dashboard and now you can see this is the wordpress uh, dashboard of yours okay and if you do not want all this thing if you want to make your wordpress website clean neat and clean just cross it just go click on the screen options you can see at top and untick all of them we do not require all these things okay and now our website or a wordpress website is almost ready our wordpress crm is almost ready now you can use this crm to do to do whatever you want to do okay so in this way we have set up wordpress inside web hosting okay and one more thing which i just want to tell you now my friends uh, it's not always necessary to always just go to your edge panel like this edge panel dot hosting dot com and then from here you can access your uh, wordpress website what you can do in the very simple way you can just type the domain name you have purchased so in my case i purchased this one cuckoo courses dot in right now you have to add slash then you have to write wp dash admin okay so when you will write this okay you can see when you will write this let me just open this in the private window so if i will open this in the private window it will take you here okay uh, so here you have to put the uh, email name and path and the password you have right so in my case my email address is whatever you have set right in my case i have set this email address okay 
and the password in my case uh, I have this password I guess but whatever password you have set and email address you have set remember in the previous step so you just have to put that and when you will click on login it will take you to your WordPress website like this so if you again want to ever visit your WordPress website dashboard just type your domain name okay in my case this is my domain name and then just set slash wp dash admin like this awesome right and then click on enter button okay it will take you to your wordpress dashboard because we have already logged in but um, it will redirect you to put your email address and password and on that basis you can again log in to your website right so it's simple and easy to uh, again go to your wordpress website uh, dashboard okay let's, uh, let's start with installing the first plugin so you can see this is a complete fresh website okay so here we will basically going to teach you okay so first just go to the plugins click on install plugins click on add new plugin okay and from here my friends just search for WP code okay then you will going to see one plugin which we have to install which is this one wp code by wp code okay so this is the plugin we will going to use for this project just install it and after you will just install it just wait for it to get activated okay and boom it's done click on this activate button and we are done now if you always go to code snippet click on code snippets of course there are two if you want you can just move them to trash or delete them okay now we have a complete uh, stuff ready okay so from here we will going to use the snippet okay after uh, that okay you will going to uh, install the plugin okay so you just have to click on let's say add new button okay and then you just have to choose this one that is add your custom code click on add custom snippet and here you can just name it anything you want so suppose i say like api custom and point okay and we are using using the php version make sure choose always the php version and uh, you know uh, for now I am just pasting you know this code okay and uh, you do not have to do anything okay so basically if you just go to the article so first what we will going to do is that we will just going to copy this code here and we will just going to paste it over here okay that is function we are just creating one function okay that is return the me text okay and in return that will going to give us this so whenever we will going to use or call this function in response it will just going to say like this this is a custom wordpress api endpoint okay and we have also registered this uh, you know custom rest api endpoint here okay which you can see so in the add extension okay you can see like rest api function we have also registered the route okay you can just name it whatever like i name it as a custom api okay so you do not have to follow anything okay so basically at the end you can see that you can just name it let's say v1 or anything but right now just for a teaching purpose i name it as a custom api only okay and after you do this you can see it's the v1 dummy text array okay like this okay and just remove this okay okay so i just registered that okay very simple uh, and nothing complicated here and always make sure that you activate this and just click on save snippet so now we will test out whether our first function is working or not and in case if it face any problem we will going to check it out now what we will going to do here you can see that this method is known as get and whenever we will going to run this so it will just going to return the dummy 
text function which is this one you can see written dummy text okay and uh, what we want to get in the response is this one okay so let's see if it's working or not so first for that what you have to do is that you just have to type here uh, this url okay just remove this and just write the name of your website so in my case it's cuckoocourses.in okay so i will just going to write that cuckoocourses.in okay like this and then put a slash then just write wp okay everything in is small i'm just teaching you okay wp dash json we want it to access through the json slash you can just put the name of it okay so in my case you can see the name of the register route is the custom api so this is the reason i will just going to write here custom okay dash api okay and whatever basically you have here you can just write custom api then we have a v1 and dummy text okay so i will just going to write all these thing custom api okay slash v1 slash okay i can say dummy dash text awesome like this okay so this is what i have done okay very simple and easy you know nothing complicated and if you want you can even save uh, this thing okay and after you basically do this you can just click on the send button and you can see the status is showing 200 okay that means in return it is giving us this response this is the custom wordpress api endpoint and this is what we wanted we wanted that whenever we will going to call this endpoint that is custom api dummy text okay uh, this function okay they should return this function and what it should return it should return this this is the custom wordpress api endpoint and you can see that it is firing that that means the function is now ready so basically if you have little bit amount of coding knowledge or python knowledge so you all know that we create one function okay and in that function we try to return something okay so whenever we try to call that function uh, 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 like here in this case we are just trying to call this function okay with the route this url okay the custom api v1 okay so now as we were calling as we are calling that function it is giving us this response awesome right now guys let's see how you can pass the parameters so you all know that in uh, API we just pass the parameters here and the value of it and automatically it appends in the URL okay so how that works so basically if you just go to the code okay which we have given you here you can see that this function still this one okay I just copied that particular one and I just put some space maybe here okay and I paste it you can see this one this new function now this new function we're just going to pass it okay this parameter okay so suppose i just copy this one and i just paste it here this one okay generate the me response and you all know that we pass the parameters so the parameters it's uh, with this one that is parameter one I will just going to copy this parameter okay and after you will basically copy this parameter you can just get whatever you want to okay so suppose I just get this parameter here like this and you can see it's appending here after the question okay this is the query parameter and what value you want to pass okay so suppose I want to pass maybe custom API and point okay so in this way you can pass it so suppose if you just send it you can see this is the 
custom WordPress API endpoint. So it's exactly passing that same thing. Okay. So this is the reason you can just pass the parameters. You can just put the success as a true message as a done and this will be passed with the parameter one and you can just pass as much as much as you can okay let's just go with the real practical example so till now we are teaching you the functions and how to call it now similarly we can now go with the real practical example with the open ai so i can just create some space and here you will just going to see this function okay by the way all these topics all the functions are explained at the very bottom okay in a very simplest and easy way like you can see all this has been explained to you in the most uh, you know easiest way okay so whatever function we have written at the top all that function you can see it will be explained to you here okay like this one php code code function okay so here you can see code function here you can see code function the return one okay so all these things has been step by step uh, covered uh, here okay which is very powerful even this generate blog title api so this is what it is okay so this what is the meaning of this code so you can see the complete explanation here so even if so what we did is that we just split this code okay and the explanation has been given to you here for example here you can see add filter till this part add filter to this return here you can see add filter to this return this function what is the meaning of this has been explained to you and in the next one we have here you can see function dummy one okay this till this part what is the meaning of it so that part has been you know discussed uh, here you can see function generate dummy text one it has been explained here and similarly from this part that is function generate block title open ai okay till this part okay so that has been also uh, covered here you can see function that is the generate block title okay till this one okay this part i will just going to right click and copy this just go to code and you can just paste it here about the register one like this so basically this function let me also explain you basically this function will you know call the open ai api key and here you just have to replace with your API key and how you can get API key it's very easy my friends okay you can just go ahead to openai.com okay and after you will basically come here to the open AI okay uh, what you can do is that you can basically go to products go to API login or you can uh, do one thing just go to products click on platform overview or the more easiest way is to just search for platform.openai.com it will take you to the right place by the way okay just log in wait let me just log in and after you do this just go to the dashboard click on this dashboard go to api keys and from here you can just create one new api key okay so it's like a code you can just cop get the code and paste it there okay okay let me show you how it looks okay so basically you just have to click on create a new api key and let's say uh, i just go with anyone let's say dummy one okay like this click on create secret key just copy the code and make sure do not share this code with anyone else and just go to your project just do one thing just replace it okay so make sure that you just select this and just remove it and paste your api key here like this and after you just do this 
simply you just have to you know update the code okay which is very much important but before updating it make sure again we have registered that custom api right so this function will be common okay and you can see earlier we were using this one return dummy text then we use this one and now we are using let's say this one generate open blog article just copy this function name and just pass it here like this okay very powerful and in the place of the dummy text let's say we can just put like maybe mm, 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 let's say generate okay titles so if we just look to this particular function this function will going to bring the response from the open ai okay to generate the titles okay and for that we have the atom uh, you know authentications okay with the api key you can see we, we have provided with the api key the authentication okay which model you want to use we have used gpt 3.5 turbo temperature okay now in case if you don't know about open ai okay what open ai is and it is basically the company open ai is a company that has created chat gpt okay so if you see here open ai so if you just go to even openai.com you will see in the products they have their api chat gpt is also their product and they also have many more amazing products like you can see chat gpt is one product research for them is the one product and for developers they have their api okay and they do also have other amazing products as well like sora okay it will help you to generate the video delhi it will help you to generate the ai image okay and so on maybe in case if you are interested to learn about this as well so again just come to my website and just search here open ai click on enter button and you will just going to see this free course that is open ai guide prompt engineering okay this is also a two hours course just open it it will just going to guide you about OpenAI, how it is related to API, models, chat, GPT and all these things has been taught from the scratch. So in case if you are interested, you can just click on the start learning button and you can just get the knowledge of OpenAI as well. Okay. So uh, after that, basically with this course, you will understand what basically temperature means. Okay. What GPT models are. Okay. So here, if you will going to see, here we will going to explain. Now guys, uh, be okay. So here we will going to explain about models, chat GPT API. So each and everything about that has been covered in this course. It, it is kind of a very much knowledgeable for you if you're interested. So you will understand that, okay? So you can just change the model, whatever you want, temperature, then we have some parameters okay the method we, we 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 will going to pass here will be the post and all this all that thing okay so after you just do this you simply have to click on this update button okay and after that my friends you can just go to here and just pass here okay so instead of this v1 because we have removed the dummy text remember that in our code we just remove the dummy text here and instead of that we use now generate titles okay so our url will become like this custom api v1 and generate titles so i will just going to remove these parameters here and instead of this dummy text i can say this one that is generate titles right now just paste it here make sure you just update it okay that is very up updating is very much important okay 
and after you do this you can just pass the parameter so what basically this tool will going to do it will help us to give the content on the basis of user topic so user will just going to put the topic here you can see on the basis of the user topic okay so uh, suppose the uh, topic and user will going to ask okay let me just show you with my website if you just go to the cuckoogoses.com website wait let me just log in if you don't have your account you can just create account in my website i already have i will just log in okay and just go to tools maybe and from here you will let's say see this youtube title generator just access this tool and here you can see it is asking for topic now on that basis of topic okay so topic is basically the parameter okay topic is the parameter now user has to put the value in it so for example if someone will let's say put let's say wordpress tips click on generate titles and you will going to see that it will generate the title so similarly for the api also we can say like wordpress tips maybe and after that you can just simply click on the send button and you can see 200 okay success is true and the response it has generated so it has generated some topic that are related to wordpress tips okay so it has generated some you can see it's a youtube title generator okay so basically generated some you know topic like 10 essential wordpress tips for beginners then second number is how to use wordpress plugins effectively then third one is boost wordpress seo with these expert tips the fourth number is the ultimate guide to customize wordpress okay fifth point is wordpress security and all this thing okay now guys uh, you can see that this has become your api right now the problem is that maybe if you want to sell this api okay so in that case it will be a problem for you every time will someone will basically come and uh, they will try to use your you know api maybe so they will always going to use uh, your url okay and this will be publicly accessible okay anyone can access this api so we will going to try to remove or customize our api so that we can offer this api for a public use okay we will going to talk about that but how you can do this so for that you can just go up and just click on enter and here you can just add another code you can just go here and this is the code you can use okay this is the add uh, filter okay this will just basically going to change your prefix and as we have mentioned that you can learn about this function at the bottom in the explanation okay we just remove all those extra thing okay so now it will be more clear for you like add one the meaning of it you can learn here okay so you will better going to understand but let's just use this one i will just right click and i will copy this i will just go here and paste it here now i want that my this uh, api access url should include uh, this custom api you can just change it to whatever you want okay now when you will going to use this one so now you do not require this that is the wp json okay so you can just remove this like this and now it's become custom api and as you are using this one now custom api so if you just go to the bottom so here you were using this one okay so wait let me just now uh, show, show you guys okay like in in earlier case you were using this one that is you know wp uh, custom api and all those things okay so now you can basically just remove it directly okay like this 
and now we are using custom api directly as a parameter okay or a desired prefix so now we do not require to use it here so we will just going to remove this one till this point okay now the custom api will directly be available like v1 from here okay awesome and after you do this just update it okay just update it and let's see it can cause some error i will show you the reason you can see it saying not found so why this problem occurred so for fixing this issue you can just go to the settings just go to the permalinks select the post name even if it's selected just uh, click on save changes again now this should work click on the send button and now you can see it worked and it has given us the result so in this way you can just change your uh, you know api url now you can now this api is basically ready uh, to use even you can just uh, use this api for making money you can sell this api and do a lot of things okay now guys uh, you can also uh, do some restriction that means right now this api is publicly available okay to anyone but suppose you want to you know put some restriction so what you can do is that you can just come here okay and uh, here in this part okay here you can just use this one this permission callback okay this this part you can just right click copy it just go to this part okay sorry if you just go here to your code snippet again click on this edit and just comment it okay like this you can just uh, put a slash slash so that this will going to get comment and here you can just paste this particular option okay you can just move it to a little bit up okay like this now what we are saying is that when anyone will be logging to our website so then only we want this api to work of course you can go with the members as well like which member subscribers so from the users you can see you have a lot of options whether a person can become you know administrator or even you can just change the role to editor so to whom you want to give the permission you can set that here and of course you can uh, by the way right now you can see that in our case we are saying that this access should be given to only to the users who will be logged in to our website so if you just try to update it now and maybe if you try to access the api it will say 401 unauthorized so it will say sorry you are not allowed to do that because we are not logging right so similarly you can put some restriction in your api with this permission callback okay guys let's see what are the benefits of using this custom uh, you know uh, api okay and why we need this so the first very benefit is that you can create this type of a custom api and you can sell it on your website like uh, let me just close you know all the path okay and let me just show you from the scratch suppose if you just go to my website cuckoocourses.com just register yourself okay and then you can just go to the tools and in tools you can see that we have created this point system now the benefit is that whenever someone will let's say try to use my ai tool so it will just going to cost them this much 
okay five points it will be deducted when someone will going to use my ai tools and automatically five points will be subtracted and user has to click on this buy more points to use my ai tools you can see various options okay they they have to buy for dollar six uh, they can just buy 500 points for dollar nine and so on so like i have created this point system for my ai tools okay you can use the same point system for your apis so basically you can just sell this api with the point system you can just provide others your api and uh, this api to use okay and uh, when they try to use your api so whenever they will going to use it so they will have to use your point system that means if they will use your api points will be deducted every time they will going to use your api and when they want to use it more so they have to recharge okay they have to purchase more points to use your api so this is the benefit now we will going to talk about how you can create this point system okay but this is the first benefit that you can just integrate with the point system maybe on your own website and you can sell this api on your wordpress itself now guys the second way you can use your own api is when you build your own point system now how you can build this point system that is very much important so guys for that you just need to go to the courses okay and just search for tools just search for tools click on enter and you will just going to see one course here just wait for a few seconds for the website to load and you will see this course that is turned wordpress into a SaaS with chat gpt and open ai api so click on this course now this course will basically going to teach you how to build this ai tools okay plus it will also going to teach you how you can build the point system with it guys okay so you can see that in this course we just taught how you can just build this you know ai tools with the point system so this is exactly the course that will help you to build the point system now if you just go to my tools so these are all the tools I have available. Now with this course, you will learn how to build this point system, which you can integrate with your API, this API, and you can sell it with the point system. Plus with this course, you will also learn how to build this AI tools and how you can integrate this AI tools with your point system right now you can see the 477 okay remember this point if you access this tool and if you type maybe uh, let's say anything okay and by the way let me show you right now i'm you know logging to my website but let's say if you just log out then you will not be able to access these tools if you just go to tools now if you just try to access you can see it will tell you to log in so this is always required that you must log in to the website okay then only it will allow you to use your point system so with this point system you are restricting users to first log in and then they have to purchase the points to use your ai tools and you can do the same with the api as well now remember that the current point is 477 now if i try to write something maybe let's say uh, amazon prime maybe like this click on generate titles now you can see that I generated it we can just copy and we can use it now if you just go to tools again now it will say the five points has been 
reduced and you can see earlier it was 477 so if you see here it was 477 but now it reduced to 472 awesome okay so you can just refresh it from this tab as well and you can see it's 472 so this is the point system you can use your api okay integrate that with point system and also you can use with your ai tools as well so this is the another benefit you can have okay so everything has been covered in this course okay and i will also going to attach at the maybe last bonus lesson about this course link if you want to buy it individually so basically all the courses you can see uh, all the courses which you will going to see along with this course we all have these courses under membership if you just go to the courses now you can see all the courses some are free of course but majority of the courses like api testing 10 hours course and all these courses which you see build online course website newspaper website all these courses are in membership so you need to have this membership click on this membership you can even go with the yearly plan or the lifetime plan okay i suggest to go with the lifetime plan and if you want to get 50 percent discount in this lifetime plan you can just watch this video so this video will guide you how to purchase the membership plus how to get 50 percent discount in the lifetime plan so i suggest you to watch this video if uh, it's basically very simple like you purchase in some e-commerce website but still we recommend people to watch this video okay to understand how to buy the membership plus you will also come to know that how you can get 50 percent discount in this lifetime plan and this is what we suggest so you can basically be able to access all the courses we have plus whenever whenever we will going to launch new courses you can also access that you will going to get email support premium blogs ai tools and many more so this is basically the power of you know uh, this membership and it's very powerful you will going to get a lot of valuable courses you can see the category from AI to business to e-commerce to web development to data science, okay, affiliate marketing, investment, investing, IT courses, make money courses, investing courses and many more. So just explore if you are interested you can just go with the membership, okay. But the point, the concept is that, that you can use this API key with your AI tools and integrate that with the point system. Now guys, another benefit is that you can build a cu uh, custom connections or automations with another tools like you uh, heard about Make. So Make is an automation tool that will help you. Okay, so basically you can just build your own API and you can just do automations and build some custom connections with these powerful websites. Even we have a Pebbly this is also a tool which you can integrate with api your own api zapier you might have heard this is a very powerful tool as well so you can also use your custom api to build some custom connections with all these powerful website okay so let's just cover up all the things which we have learned and whatever we have done okay so I will now explain you whatever we have done previously, okay? So see, basically with this method, okay, what we are trying to do is that we are trying to build one API, custom API with endpoint, okay? So you can see that in the, you know, Visual Studio Code, this is the API we created. You can see this one, okay? Now this API, you can use it maybe for your system okay maybe if you're build, building some ai tool there you can use it okay maybe you can use it for some automate automation okay but the concept is to create one custom wordpress custom api okay for this work now this is the main motive okay now if we just talk about this method so we have four elements first is known as front end okay front end is the first you know uh, i can say element okay 
and after the front end my friends after the front end we have one back end now if we just talk about front end so what is the front end it's very simple like ai tools you just go here to maybe tools okay and click on this one so suppose this is the ui okay the user interface where people will interact with your api okay so this is the ui that is user interface then the second element we have is the backend okay custom api backend now this custom api backend is this backend which we have over here you can see this is the backend okay which we have created just now and i will teach you how you can generate this backend with chat gpt then third one we have is the check permission to control api that is basically authentication so within this backend there is system of authentication what does this mean so at the very bottom you will see this register a custom api so here we have this permission callback okay so this is basically the authentication it's basically the permission you can see it, it uh, authentication basically check the permission to control the api access so if you will see in our case we just restricted the api okay and because of that it has given 401 authorized so basically with the authentication we can control the use of the api so this authentication code is within the backend uh, custom api code so you can see that this is the complete okay uh okay let's do one thing so we have this function let's remove this okay because we just uh, put this function just for a teaching purpose and also similarly let me just remove this dummy function the main function we have here is this one the function to generate the blog title open here okay so this is the main function and you can see basically from this top to the bottom okay from the top to the bottom we have this particular uh, backend okay so this is basically the backend this complete code is a backend okay and out of this backend we also have an authentication code inside the backend so you can see this is the authentication code okay so basically it's inside your backend code okay so the out of the complete code this code the permission callback code is related to the authentication one okay and the last one we have is the client basically when you uh, basically the thing is that with the help of your backend custom api okay with the help of this code you have created one api okay uh, which is this one you can see here now what does this mean okay see if you will going to know this this was the complete code we have put here you can see i just generated this code as well with chat gpt so this is basically the code okay which i have here so you can see from the top from add filter okay you can see it's starting from you can see add filter you can see add filter and it's ending here return uh, permission callback here you can see so this is the same code uh, chat gpt has generated i will also teach you how you can generate this code by the way but with this code you can generate one api you can see this is the api okay now in our example you can see that this is the api okay so guys the api you can generate with the help of this code and this api you can use it wherever you want to like we are using inside the visual studio code you can see inside the visual studio code so visual studio code is like a client okay similarly postman is also a type of a client and you can maybe use it anywhere so whenever you use the api okay to any platform or i can say with the preference of our topic we have created one api so we use this we can use this api maybe anywhere or maybe some other people can use our api maybe on their project so they will become client okay so client means people who are using our api so in our case you can see we have generated the api using our code okay on the wordpress 
and we generated one API and that API we are using with some external client that is right now in our case is the python okay especially the this extension using python thunder extension okay so these are the four elements we have first one is the front end second one is the back end which we can uh, we will teach you how to create this back end code okay with chat gpt okay and the third one we have is the authentication code and this authentication code you will find inside your back end code itself uh, right like this is the complete function the complete code and inside this code we have this permission callback so this is the authentication one okay so the third element you will going to find that is re related to authentication inside your backend code only okay and the fourth one we have a client so basically with the help of backend code we will generate one api and that api okay uh, can be used inside any client okay it can be visual studio code or other people can maybe use your api maybe on their application on their website and so on so all those people will become client those who will going to use our api okay which we have generated using the backend very simple now the concept is very simple see what will going to happen from the front end okay it can be even from the client okay it can be even from the client let me just show you so uh, what will going to happen from the front end like let's say this tool is a front end so from here people will going to ask something they want topic let's say related to fruit juice okay so when they will going to click on this generate title button okay so in the back end this request will go to the back end okay so the back end api which you have created this back end api will going to get the request that one user is asking for the title uh, and the topic is related to fruit juice so now our back end will going to process this request okay the back end will going to process this request it will also authenticate the user and on that basis the back end will going to send the response to the front end so you can see uh, after processing it we got the uh, response in the front end okay so this is how it works and the same process will going to work with the client as well so uh, your clients can use okay uh, the uh, API okay so other clients can use your API so whenever any client will going to use your API so they will basically going to send the request okay and in return backend will going to give them the response okay so I guess somehow that's simple okay nothing complicated so this is basically the system we are trying to generate so the main purpose is to generate one api custom api with the uh, endpoint okay and for that for creating any api okay let me just write here for creating any api to create any api to create any api custom api you require to create the backend and this backend we will basically going to create using chat gpt so that we will going to discuss after some time but let's first understand some concept so basically the code which you're seeing here is also created by chat gpt and that code we have pasted here you can see in the wordpress backend okay so do not worry about how you will generate this type of a code and all it's very simple and easy okay now whenever you create any new function a uh, new function okay we will teach you how to generate the function with chat gpt so you name you have to basically name uh, that function right now we have named the function and generate block title function so this function you, which you can see here this function from starting from here you can see in the yellow line is starting from here and it's ending here so this is one complete function and this function basically helps to generate the title for the blog so the uh, so the name of the function we have kept is as a generate blog title you can just keep it anything you want so this is basically the name of the function okay and whenever you want to use any function so you at the end you will have one another code 
okay that is the register to custom api endpoint so this is the common code okay this code will going to work with all of the uh, all of the function so basically in this uh, code what you have to do in the callback you have to pass the name of that function so right now the name of the function is generate block titles open ai so this is just the name of the function and you can call this function anytime using the callback so you can see here we have this callback okay so you just have to name you just have to put the name of that function whatever function you want to use very simple and in future you can even generate let's say more function okay and uh, uh, there can be another function and the name of the function can be different so that name of the function you when you will going to put it here okay so you are basically using or calling that function okay very simple nothing complicated and as we told you that using this function uh, okay using this backend okay the function the complete code which is the backend code okay backend code for the custom api so this will help us to create our custom api with endpoints so you can see with this code we just created this api custom api and you can see this is the same api which we have here you can see this is the same api we have just put it here okay here you can see now let's try to learn this api okay custom api which we have created okay so uh, guys it's very simple okay now if you just talk about let's say this api okay so here you can see this https slash it will be your domain name in my case it's cuckoocourses.in slash custom api so this custom api how we got this custom api if you will going to remember at the very top we have used this particular function okay and we all have we have also shown you that this will basically going to help us to change the api default prefix so earlier it was uh, wordpress that is wp json but now we change it to custom api you can just change it to any uh, anyone okay and this will going to show up here in your api here in the custom api you can just change it to whatever you want okay so now the, from this point https slash cuckoocourses.in of course it will be your domain in your case slash whatever name you will keep in my case i kept as a custom api so from this part to this part till the custom api this will be your base url okay it will be your base url and after that my friends we will going to have v1 v1 denotes for version 1 so in future you may create some another api okay or let's say advanced uh, function api right now let's say you created one api but in future you want to upgrade this api with more functionality so in that case you can change it to v2 that means version 2 and uh, whatever you do here like we have right now v1 so this v1 you have to put it here you can see inside the register rest root we have kept v1 if you choose v2 your api will become here v2 okay nothing complicated and my friends whenever you pass any function okay so for that function you need to create one endpoint in my case i create generate titles as a endpoint you can just change it to anything but generate titles whatever you will going to put here it will become endpoint so you can change it to maybe xyz so the xyz will become the endpoint for this function to work and the generate title will going to add after version 1 here you can see generate title and this will be considered as the endpoint you can of course customize anything you want so suppose in our code here you can see this is the generate title and if you want to change it you can just change it to maybe uh, x y z anything you want okay but if you choose to let's say x y z so what will going to happen here uh, instead of generate titles it will become generate x y z and that will become the endpoint so whatever you will going to define here that will going to become your endpoint okay very simple nothing complicated but right now we have ge uh, generate titles okay very simple and after that my friends we have the topic now why topic because this function is related to topic why topic because 
the main purpose is to create the response on the basis of the topic so whatever topic user will going to put here like here you can see it is asking to put the topic so whatever topic user will going to put so on that basis it will going to give us the response so here at the top you can see that this is the function we created and this function will basically going to call the topic as a parameter and on that top on the basis of that topic user will uh, sorry the function will going to generate the response right so this topic we have here okay and this topic uh, is known as query parameters okay so uh, uh, basically if you are not aware so uh, whenever you see this question mark and after that whatever you see so that will become parameter or you can say query parameter now uh, basically here basically the user have to put the topic okay then it will become equals to now what will be the topic so right now we put the fruit juice and it can be anything so topic uh, for which you want to generate the response so right now we in, in our example we kept as a let's say WordPress tips okay so it's basically the value or argument inside this parameter that means we want the response related to WordPress topic WordPress tips topic this is what we mean to say and suppose here right now we have put here as a WordPress tips and suppose I want maybe let's say fruit juice so now I want the response okay related to the topic fruit juice okay so here you can see it's written as a topic so we pass the uh, query parameter as the topic and we want the topic or I can say we want the response related to fruit juice for the topic so this fruit juice will become your argument or value right now it's WordPress tips so hope you guys have somehow understood okay nothing complicated it's very simple the basic concept is to create this type of a custom API okay basically the main function we have here or the main objective for this is to create or build this type of a API okay we want to build this type of a custom API and this custom API we also want to have the endpoint so right now we can you you can see just generate title is the endpoint so we want our main um, our main motive is to build one custom API with WordPress with endpoints and this API we can create using this complete code okay and this custom API we can just uh, generate okay this custom API we can generate using the code and this code we will going to generate using the chat GPT so you do not have to worry about how we will going to generate this type of a code but just understand few things that let me revise it quickly front end or you can even use client maybe and if you're using front end let's say AI tool or maybe client let's say in our case Visual Studio code so you will basically going to send the request and if you're using client so client will also going to send the request to the backend and backend will going to process the request okay and on that basis it will going to give the response to the front end okay or it can give the response to the client right and after that we just taught you that with the first function okay that is the default api url prefix you can basically put whatever name you want in our case it's custom api okay so this is the reason it's showing custom API. you can just change it to anything okay so this is the first thing okay always remember the first code will help you to change the name of the uh, default api prefix that's it and after that you will going to have the function okay and that function it's totally up to you for what purpose you want to create this function and at the end you will going to have this register the custom API so basically this will basically going to help to create the custom API okay so this API if you, if you will going to notice we have v1 here v1 here generate title as the endpoint so generate title here we have here okay so this API we have uh, somehow created with the help of this one okay and with uh, with this particular code we are also calling the function 
okay like generate block title open ai so this is the function we want so this function basically helps to generate the title for any topic so this function we are just calling it here okay that's it so these are the few things you have to note first is the we have to change the custom api that is the one code another code is related to the function okay the function can do the different tasks like this function is helping us to generate the title okay on the basis of topic so similarly you can create purpose for any different topic and the third one we have this code that is the register the custom rest api endpoint so this will going to help us to create the custom api with the help of, uh, with endpoint as well so for that we have this one and also remember that whatever you will going to put here like v1 and this as an endpoint so that will going to display in your custom api so this is what i mean to say and also remember that this what you will put here is known as endpoint okay this uh, after question mark whatever put uh, whatever uh, whatever you put is known as parameter and whatever you will put inside this parameter let's say wordpress tips so it will act as an argument or the value so this is the value in for the parameter okay that's it so these are the things which i just wanted to tell you okay and hope you guys have somehow got the idea about how the complete procedure works and we just exactly done the same thing we just taught you uh, using this plugin okay how you can put your function complete function which you can see here the complete code okay and this code is generated by chat gpt of course and this code will help us to generate the custom api endpoint that's it yes, uh, let's see how we can create this type of a code so it's very easy what you need to do is that you just have to come to the website that is kukukoses.com our website okay click on the library and after you will click on the library just scroll, scroll down you will see this xsr free resources tap on this and we have added one more uh, section here which is this one wordpress custom api endpoint generator okay with this code you can just search for it and it's a prompt okay just open it click on view okay so this is the prompt that will basically going to help you to generate this type of a code you just have to open the chat gpt after you will going to open your chat gpt what you need to do is that let's close this ad you just have to copy this like this copy to clipboard just go to chat gpt and paste this prompt here okay you can see this is the prompt we got now you just have to replace all the placeholders for example here you can see you just have to replace this one your prefix okay your custom api url and all this thing now what does this mean if you will see this code okay okay let's just do one thing let me just explain you this code if you will see here so we have also given you how you can put uh, or re uh, replace that okay so for example here you can see rest api prefix what you want in the rest api prefix use the prefix custom api okay so basically if you notice that here we just put this custom api so this is this prompt will going to ask you that what you want the name of uh, it okay so you just have to name it let's say i want it to be a let's say custom api or you can just put it let's say custom plus maybe anything like that okay so this will this custom plus will going to show up here in your api here instead of custom api it will be now custom plus so it's totally up to you whatever you want to put in the name and after that it, it is asking the another box is asking you uh, you know uh, this one okay wait let me just see mm. Mm. okay so just do one thing okay uh, replace okay you can just uh, okay use the prefix okay you can just put the same thing here inside this one okay and now the api version now remember 
in our API we have this one v1, v2, v3. So what version you want? So that you have to put it here. Okay. So in the uh, API version here you can see you just have to put what version. So we want let's say v1, v1. Okay. You can just remove this bracket. Okay. From here also just remove this bracket like this now endpoint name what you want to put the endpoint name okay so if you will just going to see in the example so endpoint name it can be summarized text so basically what here you have put in the generate titles okay so this is the endpoint okay it will just going to come up here in the generate title so right now we want to put let's say summarize text here let's say we just want to put summarize text or anything you want okay that's totally up to you but remember that whatever endpoint name you will going to put it which is going to show here in your api url and the next one we have the callback function name of the callback function okay remember the callback function name this one this name okay now you just have to name your function whatever name you want so in the example we just put let's say summarize text open ai we can just use this one you can just name it to whatever you want for example you can even name it to uh, let's say anything okay right now we put summarize text even you can say like let's say summary dummy anything you want okay doesn't matter then http method okay what http method you want let's say post get okay that you have to put here okay so let's say we want to put the get okay for get we we are creating this api and in the query parameter okay so here you can see in this function the query parameter was uh, you know topic you can see topic here this is the query parameter you can see query parameter is the topic right now in our case because we are just generating summarized text okay so just understand this function will going to help you to summarize any text so if you have a long text now this function will help you to summarize this uh, that text okay so basically like uh, if you will see here in the tools let's say um, okay let's just open this one let's say youtube title generator so here we have the topic but right now we are saying that we want the input as a text because we want people to text their or put their long text okay so on that basis it will going to summarize it so this is what we are saying here to the prompt we will going to see the query parameter will be text okay awesome now it is saying like uh, you can see after query parameter it is asking for the open ai model now what the open ai model you want to use let's say we want to use gpt 3.5 turbo so the same model we want to use now we have already told you about the open ai free course if you will watch it you will understand about this model and all okay now what your prompt will be okay so uh, by the way here in the previous code you can see that we also we are also using the gpt3 model okay now prompt what prompt you want okay like generate five block uh, titles okay so this is the prompt you have to give so what we want let's say an example we have set here we want to say like summarize the following text so uh, this is what i mean to say that here in the prompt this function what this function will going to do it will just going to summarize the text okay so you have to write that under the prompt basically prompt means what this function will going to do so this function will going to summarize the text so user will going to put in the box let's say 
user will going to put their long text here and they will going to click on the summarize button so it will just going to summarize their long text okay into the short okay it will just summarize it so for that purpose we want and here it asking for the open ai api key right so we told you that in my case how to generate the api key so in my case you remember we just use this api key so the api key which you have generated you can just use that api key so in my case it is my api key you all know how to generate it so just remove this box and paste your api key here that's it okay now in the permission what you want okay uh, you can just put that okay uh, basically uh, if you want uh, basically here in the permission as we told you that the permission callback okay it's related related to the authentication it is asking for the authentication and as we have told you that this complete code this is the complete code backend uh, custom api code and inside that backend api code you will going to get the authentication code as well so this is the reason it is asking for the permission callback so this is the authentication code so we want to keep it by default to for the users who are logged in okay and that's it and here you do not have to do anything okay and after you just do this what you need to do is that you simply after you will replace each and everything you just have to click on the enter button and it will just going to generate the complete code for you you can see awesome it has generated the complete code for you okay amazing right so this is the power of it okay and uh, in case if you uh, see some different type of a code so okay wait okay if you see some different type of a code so you can just say to chat gpt just come here at the bottom okay and this is the example so we, let's say we want just copy this code just go here and in the edit just go to the last click on shift and enter and say example of output format okay click colon click on shift and enter paste the code which you have copied and just click on the send button so now it will just going to generate the code as per our format so you can see same same type of a code you can see custom api here also we have the same thing custom api one okay this code okay change the default one okay you can just name it whatever you want so if, if you will going to notice that we have put the custom plus okay uh, in the prompt okay in the prompt we just put here custom plus so this is the reason chat gpt has generated the code in the custom plus so you can see it is the complete code which has generated okay and now you simply have to click on this copy code that's it and maybe this is the one code if you just go to the code snippet just go this was the first code you can just create add new another one and paste the another one here okay now rem remember it is php snippet like this and this will going to help you to summarize x okay for that it's we have created it just activate it click on save snippet okay mm, okay view snippet with errors okay uh, i guess we have got some problem okay so this is what it is okay wait let me show you let's just go here again okay but the thing is that just create this type of a thing okay and just uh change to php name it it will just going to summarize the text okay and that's it just activate it and save it okay and now you can see that it is calling the summary dummy summary dummy why because the function name we kept right now is the summary dummy last time it was generate block okay so this is how you can just generate this code and on this basis you can create the api okay now what will be the new api let me show you if you just go here 
now here just remove this custom okay after that okay cuckoo courses dot your domain name slash now it will be the custom plus okay custom plus so it will be like custom dash plus remember then slash vi the v1 version we kept so it will be v1 slash okay remember that then this will be the end point okay remember we taught you that after uh, your v1 you have the end point okay so in our another example we have the end point as a summarized text okay so okay wait so it will be now summarize text okay awesome now if you will going to remember that after the summarize text basically after the end point we have the slash parameter we just have to give the parameter okay and then we have to give the value to it so how you can do that so if you will just go here to visual studio now this function is related to the text remember here text okay so this is basically the parameter is now text in earlier case you can see in the previous example uh, here we have the parameter as the topic so now we will just going to put here in the parameter let's say text so you can see automatically put the question mark text now what will be the text okay so you just have to put your long text here and that will just going to show after the equals to so this is how you can just build the custom api okay with the power of chat gpt so you just have to do one thing is that this code this prompt which you are seeing here you just have to copy it again if you want to let's say create a new one you just have to paste that for the new function just replace these placeholders with whatever your requirement is okay and then click on enter it will just going to create another code for you which you can use it to build your own wordpress custom api endpoint so this is how you can utilize chat gpt for it and you can build your own custom api okay with endpoint and you can use it for various purpose like for your ai tools for your website to sell it okay or maybe for some automation and all so this is all i wanted to teach you inside this free course and hope you guys have enjoyed this free course okay